Indeed, yeah, there's um, a local, some local school kids are going to get um, the opportunity to participate in a number of different sports. Um, some that in the past historically have been gender stereotyped. Um, so the students here have, have worked over the last couple of months uh, to deliver our event today that features as I said, a number of sports, but talking to the kids about um, being willing to appreciate and accept anyone in any sport. I think it's important for, for, for children to understand and adults to understand that that um, you know, everyone has the right to participate in any sport should they wish. Um, whether or not it's been deemed as a male or female sport previously um, on 2019 and that, that everyone has the right to, 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 to participate in sport and enjoy themselves doing that. It ranges our imagination and that, even just with sports, that can then develop out into different areas. So it's not just sports they're maybe thinking about, you know, they could be thinking about even roles when they're adults, you know. Um, obviously the college promote the STEM programmes, the science, technology, engineering and maths. Because years ago, I know certainly when I was at the school, I wanted to do woodwork and metalwork and I wasn't allowed, I had to go and do food nutrition or typing. So, thank goodness, you know, things have changed to date. And for instance, even students ourselves, we were speaking um, with regards to like uh, skipping and there was a group of four, two of us thought young girls and two of us thought boxers. So it just shows, you know, the, the difference even in adults, how we are thinking. So we thought, get them at a young age, try and raise awareness and just maybe change their thinking and give them an opportunity to try the different sports that they maybe wouldn't normally do. Well, I've been at Kilmarnock Ladies for 23 years now. When I first started, when I was at primary school, there wasn't very many girls that played football, so I played in a boys' team. But there's a lot more girls playing football now than there was. So Fair Play Foundation have been absolutely invaluable to run this event. Uh, Mark has come in and delivered a, a quality workshop to the swap students, which is absolutely vital. Taught them about quality issues, and then they did turn them to then pick their own quality sort of event as such, which they chose gender and equality. From then, the Fair Play Foundation is there to support throughout the whole process with several meetings. Um, and again, it's a real life experience for them um, to deliver this event, which they did absolutely brilliant with. to break down that barrier of gender inequality that can sometimes exist in society. So I think we did that really, really well today. It's been a very successful event.